Oh, well, this black, black, black has got to go, go, <laughs> go, because I think one of the great things about you, Lynette, is you've got this fantastic, vivacious, gregarious personality, and we need to bring that out more in your colour. This is kind of just swamping you with hiding this black away. and hiding who yeah. you are. Yeah. So I think we can go for something a little bit more daring, but at the same time with a hint of sophistication, because that's also what you're about. Oh. Is there any colour you definitely don't want to be? Uh, red. I just don't want to be that classic, you know, late 40s, approaching 50, red. I don't want to be that colour. But there are all different types of shades of red as well. There's yeah. pillar box to <laughs> kind of much more subtle. So um, yeah. we might be weaving a little bit of redness into your hair. Right. But on the more subtle right, side. Right, okay. That respects right. your maturity and Ooh. sophistication. Oh, go on, get round me more. <laughs> So on go the gloves and the chemical cleanser. And off comes a half-century horror story of bad dye jobs. Forty-five minutes later and the black's history. But the future is... orange. Andrew? Andrew? <laughs> what have you done? This looks appalling. Don't be surprised, I told you. The black, black, black has definitely gone. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely And Tequila gone. Sunrise is definitely in. <laughs> you are the latest in fashion, my darling. Oh, yeah, right. Well, one thing's for sure is red is definitely not your colour. <laughs> <laughs> the orangutan look is so last season. But no need to go ape. That orange will disappear under a whole new colour, which will eventually complement her new face. Honest. 